Okay guys, I'm gonna show you a little close up of some of the custom chrome. And I want you to look at the reflection in the side of this truck. This is by far the best looking paint job I've personally done. But I wanna show you the, I got these tips from TDUS I know he posted a video a while back about some mods, and if you look in there, if you'll notice, it's kind of hard to tell, but the lug nuts and the bolts surrounding the simulated beadlock are now chrome. I took his advice, and I went down to Hobby Lobby, and I grabbed one of these liquid chrome pins and you can tell I got some paint on it uh, this was like this is the two millimeter um, liquid chrome it's in the craft section I found it right above the model cars um, where the paint is it's $11.99 at my local Hobby Lobby but don't forget you can get the 40% off coupon so you can save a little bit of money on that also notice the tires I took the same concept with a white paint pen, just a standard. This was like $2.99 at Hobby Lobby. It's um, Treehouse Studios, and I painted the, what should be an outline white letter tire, but it actually turned out looking like a raised white letter, which is okay with me. Come out looking pretty good. I did all the same paint work on the spare tires, and Taking, again, tips from TDUS. Um, I put the little chrome accents. And I did a couple more. I noticed, and I, and I have some plans. I wanna get in here and take these fans off. I know you really can't focus on this. Let me turn the car around in the light. But notice the little screws on the fans, and I wanna go the, west, the rest of the way around but I'll have to take the piece off in order to do that. It's just too tedious to get in there with the paint pen, but I found a couple other spots. I highlighted one of the terminals. Of course, this is the negative terminal on the battery. The positive terminal, which I haven't done yet, is eventually gonna be red. And then I know you really can't see down in there, but I put chrome on the fuel cap bolts. One more thing I did, I thought this was kind of cool when I had the wheels off, and I did this on all four corners, but I put the chrome paint on the calipers, and you can kind of see it's pretty reflective. And when the wheels on the car, if you look in through, you can actually see the chrome. It's kind of cool. Let me show you another thing. I know I'm moving around here. I don't typically like to do this. I like to have the camera stationary, but this is the original body that came on the Fox Edition. Guys, let me follow up on my last video. This is the only sticker kit that came with the Traxxas Unlimited Desert Racer Clear Body, part number 8511. I was a little disappointed when I, I didn't get like headlights and taillights, a, a couple little decals. I wouldn't expect this to have, uh, you know, Fox branding or any other sort of, um, proprietary branding, I, I understand all that. But basically what I would hope Traxxas would do is at least send out the grill, the headlights. I, I don't necessarily care about the BFG and the Fox, I get all that, but maybe like the hood pins, especially the hood plate, the, the breather cover. I would like for them to send that. Um, you know, a few of the other decals, let me turn this around and the light. The tail lights, you know, and I'm going to turn this around just to show you guys. I've used this body, okay? This is not a shelf queen by any means. See that? That's scuffs, that's dirt, that's wrinkles. But I really wish Traxxas would have sent the stickers with the original clear body kit. They didn't, I called them. 
They said that's something that's not included in the kit at this time. Doesn't mean it won't be. And somebody posted yesterday that you could go and actually order that sticker kit from Traxxas. So I may end up doing that. But all in all, the blue one turned out great. I'm happy with it. And this has got a high quality shine to it for sure. And I know it's cloudy. It's kind of a bummer here today. But when this thing is in the sunlight, golly, it really pops. So again, that was the Spaz Sticks Blue Sapphire Pearl with the black backer. Someone was telling me you could put a silver backer or a chrome backer behind that and it may make it brighter. I don't know. Um, I've got another idea for another car I'm gonna build based on this same concept. So stay tuned and I'll see you soon. Thanks and have a great day.